morning. morning. How are you? Did you get some rest? Bass bait mm -hmm. you can ask for right there. Look, he already got chewed up. Yep. Really? It's his little feet. Ain't that crazy? I've never seen one of those. You can like dig in the mud and they'll come out of it. Yeah. That's some bass bait right Ooh. there, buddy. Stretch. <laughs> That's how you do it right there, boys. It's the best blind here. <laughs> Don't sit in the oak like that till we got to do. <laughs> what do you think about it, Jonathan? I think, you need, I think you need to lean back just a little bit. Yeah. Well, we had 20 minutes to sit here, we could have moved. Three minutes till shooting light. This is what we're doing. We chilling. Hungry? Go park that. Honda. Accord. Travis, turn your freaking glide off. <laughs> Guys, we hunted this place one year ago today exactly. Shut up! No, we did not. Bull crap. Shh. Put your phone down. God. Right in here, front of us. Right here. Ducks. Balling it up top. Gaddies. Bust them. Shoot, shoot them. Get ready from the right. Do you say hold on? Big duck. Shoot him. Kill him! You guys are welcome for that one. If we didn't even shoot him good. There you Gee. go. There you go, buddy. Oh, You're still putting that. Here he comes. Hey, well, I got one on the water right in front of me. Oh yeah, did he just he land? Yeah, he just landed. Hey, 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 hey! Hey, hey! Ow! Thanks for the shell. Coming out front. Out front. Oh, yes, he does. You're going to have to hold up, buddy. Shoot that bird coming around. Don't shoot my head. Nope. No, they're duck. They're them. That's a sink. No, it ain't. Gosh dang. What? Let's shoot them. They're snipe. <laughs> those are widgeons. Yeah, that's all the widgeons. Like oh, those are pintails. Oh my gosh, they're, they're pintails. Gosh. Keep your faces hid. Oh my god.
Let me see it, Nathan. Where's the other one at? That was a pretty group of... Did you get that all on video? Yep. Nothing. What do you think, boys? That was, a big, work. that was the biggest group of pintails I've ever seen come in yeah, like that. Yeah, that That's worked that, great, that good. Y'all just can't shoot. Wow. I can't believe y'all only hit two birds out of that I was like, I can't either. I was like, we need to call it because we ain't going to get the shot again. Oh my gosh, this is fixing to get... Oh my god, they're in our face. Drink. Here. Well, guys, we are packing up. Charlie's over there picking up birds on the other side of the uh, pond. And I think we got 13 over here, and he's got at least 10. So, wasn't a bad morning, but shot something cool that I've never shot. We had about 800 of them fly over this morning, but they're called snipe. Um, got a huge beak, and they're not very big at all, but that is a cool looking bird. I had to, uh, they started flying over us, we and I had to carabiner? check the. Texas Parks and Wildlife make sure it's legal to shoot them. You're allowed eight per day, and the season goes past duck season. So, if y'all think I should do a snipe hunt, where? There's snipe everywhere. So, if y'all think I should do a snipe hunt, leave it in the comments. But, pretty cool bird. And I went to grab it. Woo! Change of plans. I hope you guys enjoyed that little last day of duck season. But the plans have changed. And uh, I ended up cleaning all the ducks, don't worry. But I did not have time to cook the ducks. But y'all should be excited because I am with y'all's favorite person, Omar Crispy. And uh, we are in Kansas at Cabela's. And we're here to do some more hunting. But we're not going after ducks, we're going after geese. So we gotta stop in. So we gotta stop in Cabela's. We gotta get some shells. We gotta get our license. And then we still got about another hour and a half to go um, to where we're staying and hunting and all that. So let's go inside, get us some shells, and uh, get our license, be legal, and then get back on the road. We've been driving all day long. It's like an 11 hour drive. So the great outdoors in one word. You need to get sponsored by Cabela's, dude. I, you know, right? I'm tired of spending money in this place. Man, Man I had a gift card from Christmas, too. I forgot. Did you? Yeah. Oh, I could have used it. So, what y'all don't know is this is going to be a self-guided goose hunt. And uh, Crispy doesn't have any goose calls. So, he's going to be doing all the calling. So, he's going to buy himself a call and... Uh, do a little practice session in the truck. Not just the call, I'm gonna buy the cheapest call because I'm not trying to spend a lot of money on this. And then uh, we'll see if they uh, like the old crispy calling in the morning. I'm really good at it, by the way. I saw a YouTube video online, so like I'm pretty much an expert. So you don't need to buy the expensive one, just buy a cheap one and then you're good to go. So this is what he picked. White for snow geese, we're going after snow geese. Yeah, we'll see, yeah, we'll it's see 25 what happens. bucks. Yeah. All the other ones are like 60, 70 dollars. That's for the pros though, we're that's not pros. No, no, I'm pro, so I can call with anything. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> that's, that's for the guys that don't know how to call. This is the price of goose hunting. We plan on killing them, so we're gonna buy a case. But we're shooting three and a half inch, 12 gauge BBs. 170 bucks. We better smoke them. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm gonna call them in for you. Yeah. If you can't kill them, then um, we're gonna have a problem. Oh yeah, 170 bucks. All that's left is our license. I hate buying out-of-state license because they're always so expensive. See what what it's gonna cost. Cause I bet it's gonna be around 80 bucks. You think so? For a three-day or a two-day maybe? Yeah. I don't know. We'll find out. So what was the total? This is insane. So the, the license and everything is ninety-seven dollars, right? Ninety-seven dollars a piece plus twelve. Plus twelve fifty for, for out being of state. out of state. And then the whole total was almost five hundred dollars. We bought a case of shells, 
a goose call, and then our two licenses, and almost five hundred dollars. Don't forget, don't forget about the fuel. Hunting this public land, we got we still gotta go buy decoys. Yeah. Layout blinds, and man, it's gonna be an expensive trip. Food, <laughs> food, hotel. Hotel. Oh, well, you're staying in the camper. I'm saving. I'm saving on that. Yeah. I mean, you, you if you want to stay in there and keep me warm, you can. I'm good. You're not a real friend. All right, Crispy, open it up. Let's hear it. Why do they always package these things like crazy? I don't know, but I'm really interested to see how you can blow a goose call. Well. Can you blow a duck call? Oh, yeah. I don't know if you know this, but I taught the, the Robinsons how to call ducks. I got a knife. No, I got you it. taught the Robinsons how to call ducks. Yeah. You were the original true, designer. True huh? story. Alright, here we go. Is it on this side? Oh wait. <laughs> it's the other side. Oh yeah, we're 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 game, bro. <laughs> we're about to slaughter them. Oh, we're in. Like All right. game over. Let's get on the road. Let's go. Guys, we made it to the lodge. Everybody's already asleep. I'm editing this video. We're going goose hunting in the morning. If y'all wanna see crispy, call geese in the morning. Stay tuned for the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good.